Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this let's play of Boulder's Gate 3. Last episode, we continue we completed all the exploration we had here in the goblin camp, and discovered that uh, something has started, specifically an assault upon the uh, the uh, upon the grove over here. So we kind of need to get over here in order to save them as quickly as we can before things go very, very, very wrong. So, for that reason, let's take this sigil and teleport all the way to the Emerald Grove environs and see if we can save them. Oh, wait. There we go. Must be on my way. Should be nothing here yet. Okay, so we're over here, we can get in. Now, what are we supposed to do when we once we get here? Defend the grove. Okay, we need to actually find him. He may be downstairs. That's my guess, anyway. If he's down here, in the main center of the grove... Okay, everyone on? I hope everyone's on. Good. Now then, I believe he is probably... Where's the entrance? There it is. Probably in here, I would assume. Oh, found him. Not again. Nope, that's Kaga again. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Nope, that's not well where is he then? I mean it says he's supposed to be outside the place. I assumed we're kind of on a time crunch, that's why I ran right over here. Is he not? Because I didn't see anyone there. Okay, select this, take this back up. Maybe he's up at the top here? No, it's got to be down at the bottom. That's where we're supposed to go. So do we just use the gate winch? What's next? So this guy's here. Do we speak to you? I haven't seen a single. No, nope, you don't do anything. Okay. How do we do this? Like, like, seriously, you think the guy is right outside. So the guy opens it. There's supposed to be something, like, right here. No, right here. I am literally standing on it, and there's nothing here. What are you supposed to do? We need to defend it, okay?
Yeah. Defend it from the goblin attack. Defend it from the goblins. I very much would like to, but there's no information on how. There's not even any information on how to start it. Okay, you know what? Maybe we have time. Maybe we have time to do whatever the hell we want. So, how about instead... Let's see if we can deal with these things, hmm? How about that? That could work. Let's, uh... Let's go hunt down Carlatch again. Now that we can act, now that we're a little stronger, maybe we'll be able to survive against those, uh... Against those... Whatever they're called. Knolls. Fine, then. Since we can't seem to start the main thing... And I'm not gonna go up against those freaking spiders. That would not go well, I think. Oh yes, and now that I think about it, since we're hunting down Carlatch, we should swap out one of our companions. So, oh, look at this. Oh, we found Volo. He was he did say he was going to be here. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. Yes, the everyone knows that. had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. And they're parasites. Do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? A mind flare planted one of their larvae into my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ceramorphosis? Well, tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! Quit the shouting. Can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Hey, whatever works. Oh, hey, look at that. And we got Blazer of Benevolence. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. A Bard item. Well, it's not really needed. So we can give that to our, uh, to Gale and let him hold on to it. Because, hey, he can use that and consume it and it would be fine. That's what I think, anyway. Well, that's what's taking up so much weight. The camp supply pack, that explains it. Okay, well, we're not going to be resting. Instead... Okay, Gale. If you don't mind. How can I help? You need to raid the camp for a bit. Decision. I'll be here. And we're going to be taking Will instead because he has a quest. 
well met. That we're going to try to do. Thank you. Oh, you leveled up. All right, we did have a level up recently. All right, Warlock, let's get you higher up. Gain a cantrip and a spell, and you can replace a spell, and you gain a feat. Okay, cantrip. Bone chill prevents the target from healing. And undead target receives disadvantage. Interesting. Friends, eh. Mage hand. Maybe. Minor illusion. Hmm. Poison Spray could be useful. And True Strike is useless. Always has been. I mean, Bone Chill could be useful. Spells! What have we got here? What are we going to take? Cloud of Daggers doesn't sound like a bad idea. Scorching Ray and Witch Bolt are actually useful. Knowing what Witch Bolt can do, I think that's actually going to be useful. I'm not going to replace a spell. Visibility and those... No, no. We don't need to. And as for feet, let's see. Advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration. You're not doing concentration very much. Let's see... We might do ability improvement. Hmm. Oh! Defensive Duelist. When attacked while wielding a finesse weapon you're proficient in, you can use a reaction to add your proficiency bonus to your armor class. Considering I use a, uh, considering he uses a, uh, rapier, I think that would be useful. Let me see what else there is here. Hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll go with that. Defensive Duelist sounds like a good idea. There you go. All right, and that will be good, I think. So let's leave the camp. I'm feeling a bit parched and peckish. Me too. Keep an eye out for any passing vagrants. Uh. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. I'm sure. Well, we're gonna head over to here. You wanna make a jump across? Where's jump? There it is. You're so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadowheart. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. And those are all of the gnolls we need to kill, so... Fight, not to hate. I'm going to head over to here and drop a save before we try and deal with these gnolls. So give me a moment. Alright, let's head up here and see if we can take care of these guys. Everyone gather together. And here we go. They all won the initiative. All of them. That is... That is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. Why did they win every single initiative here? It's like the worst possible way you could do this. And I know that those archers are absolutely the worst and need to die immediately. On the plus side, there's only four of them. And that was a miss. You have very poor hit chance, it seems. What should I do? 
Concentration broken, so that's nice. You can actually reach this one. I'll strike you down. And you missed, because of course you did. Fleet of foot. And you can Eldritch Blast. Go ahead. Well, that did a bit of damage. So that's definitely something. And it went for a Starion. Not surprised you're going for Shadow Heart. You're right next to her. Thank you for missing. Went for Will. Okay. Fire there. Missed again. I feel like I made a wrong choice with, uh, with him. There's a smack. That's not much damage. You've made a grave mistake. Oh, that was actually nice, and that one's almost dead, which is good. Sadly, it seems you can't do anything else, but it is... Oh, wait! Polearm Clout. It counts as a bonus action. Go for it. Thank you! That actually helps a lot. Not what I intended, but sure. Okay, good. You have disadvantage because this guy's going after you. Fine. Stab him. That didn't work. Ow! Shadowheart has taken more pain than I'd like. That's bad, and there you've got the multiple attacks, which I very much hate. Uh, react to your next attack with flames that deal... You know what? Go for it. That was a good move! Might will prevail. Okay, can you get a shot? You have disadvantage. Not on this guy. That one's dead. Good. So you are going to dash. You are going to go up to here and smack him, and still there, but if he moves, he's going to... Ow, ow. All right, let's try and finish this guy off. Can you finish him? Thank you. Okay, that hurt a lot, but at least we dealt with them. Finally. Those guys were such a pain before, but at least this time we killed them. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Written in a furious sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, Diabolical that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Uh huh. Okay, so you have Prayer of Healing. That helps a fair bit. Okay, I think that's all there was to loot around here. Well, there is more to the north, including something new. We're going to be heading to the east. And that is a lot of tracks. Including more blood, and I think we may have an indication of where this person we're looking for will be. 
Probably. I mean, we have more indications of things, including a path down here, but that is the other possible location. We'll check this road in a moment. Let me drop another save. Okay, let's move on in this direction and see if we can find anything of use. I don't think there's going to be much in here. Dead knolls. And is that sulfur I smell? Dead knoll. Dead knoll. Please loot it, thank you. And buckle. Arrow of ice, short bow, leather armor, potato, red pepper. And an ignoble so, hat. A vampire spawn and a monster hunter in the same group. We're not going to have trouble, are we? Excuse me. Since this tapal, I'm barely a monster at all. I just want to survive. Same as you. I don't see a problem. As long as Mr. Fang there keeps his appetite in check. Agreed. Okay, don't need a candle. A lot more dead gnolls here. Hello, there's a person here. Who are you? Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. What happened to you? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. How many did you lose? Two. Both stalwarts of Tyr. Sworn to uphold justice. Let me see what you have to trade. Okay, so they have a couple scrolls, Arrow of Roaring Thunder, Elixir of Bark Skin, Supply Pack. There's not much that I really need. In fact, I don't think there's anything I need, so I'm going to sell the agates, sell the grease bottles, sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this. And I think that's all I have. In Tia's name. Agreed. Alright. Oh. So what's inside here? Dead refugee. Oh, well, you got an apple out of that. The baguette is probably free food. Oh, a free greatsword. And a free crossbow. And free padded armor. And a free rapier. Rotten chicken eggs. Yeah, those we definitely don't need. Hey, this is all loot that we can sell to get some free money and su and food supplies. Why did you You are now What? You are literally standing in the ceiling now. Why did that become a thing? Actually no, I think we do need that for Will. I don't think Will has one. He does not. There you go, Will. Okay. Anything else to take from here? Alright. 
Well, uh, Cyril, we have some things that we can sell you now. I'm still looking to shift some supplies. Don't have much to spare. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. There's another hundred coin. In Tia's name. Now, what do we got in here? Cut it out. It's worse than Knowles out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. Huh. Only thing you give a dragon is bad gas. At ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. Ornate wooden hatch. Okay, thank you. Hello, Anders. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Who or what attacked you? A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her. Which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Hmm. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. Very well. I'll bring her your I'll bring you her head. May the just God guide you. All right. And do you have anything to say, Trin? If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why? What's down there? Corpse. Half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. It's a nice place to hole up in. What is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. Toll houses mean gold. Seen any around? There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. All right. Well, we could do with some more gold. Why not? And I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, we'll take a look around here and see if we can find more information on Carlatch, which seems like it's going to be down in this direction. That'll be interesting. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Ceres, Shadowheart, Astarian, and Will. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3, and I shall see you all next time.